Water from the Rio Grande, it's precious and usually in short supply. To keep that water flowing to all the cities and farmers that count on it, there's work being done on the river that you've probably never seen. News 13's pilot reporter Bob Martin flies us in for the story. Sky Drone 13 has a bird's eye view of the front line in this water war, slogging along miles of riverbed just north of Elephant Butte Lake, amphibious excavators. Which have the ability to traverse land and water seamlessly. All the way from the swamps of Louisiana where water can get a little deeper. Yes, sir. It, uh, the red line you see on the pontoons is uh, the line at which it'll start to float. Like surgeons scraping plaque out of an artery, these marsh buggies scoop out river-clogging sandbars miles north of the Butte. Silt then beefs up berms, keeping the river in its main channel. The floating cranes were brought in by the New Mexico Interstate Stream Commission and Bureau of Reclamation. The job, keep Rio Grande water flowing into Elephant Butte, prevent it from spilling out too much into the salt cedars and desert. Some marshy area is kept as wildlife habitat, but man-made boundaries seek balance. This river has risen with all the sediment that comes into it, and we need to move that sand out so that it doesn't, the river doesn't come up and breach out through this spool berm into this lowland area over here. Skydrone 13 shows a berm wearing thin, ready to break. Where water does escape into unplanned areas, plants and sun soak it up quickly, robbing Elephant Butte. There are not only New Mexico farmers who depend on Butte water, but a compact requires New Mexico to deliver a big share to Texas. If the Butte gets too low, other reservoirs in northern New Mexico must release their water to refill it, even if they end up near empty. If we don't have water in those reservoirs and we can't release it, the, the river would go dry a lot of summers, and it would go dry all the way through Albuquerque. This vast delta area just north of Elephant Butte was not this way just 20 years ago. It was all underwater. You can still see the old lake shoreline etched into the slopes high above today's river. This satellite comparison shows the Butte 20 years ago and today after years of drought. The riverbed work is in this 20-mile stretch where the lake no longer exists. To make their way to and from the excavators, crew travel miles each day by airboat. It's uh, very logistically challenging. We're out in the middle of nowhere. It's back into the cabs of their excavators and quickly scooping out more silt. The river delta gets a bit of a break at night. Things cool off. The men and their machines will start again at dawn. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13, near True the Consequences. Crews remove about 1,000 dump truck loads of silt daily from the Rio Grande. The task takes about two months to complete and is done every year or two.